The 30 to 40,000 rupee segment has been long dominated by OnePlus. The reason for this being OnePlus offers excellent specs, a flagship experience, and a lot of nice to haves like currently the 90Hz panel, super fast warp charging, and so on. The OnePlus 70 is the latest offering from OnePlus in this segment, but now Samsung has surprised us by launching a genuine flagship offering. Actually, a couple of genuine flagship offerings in this segment in the form of the Galaxy S10 Lite and the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. We saw how the Galaxy S10 Lite stacked up to the OnePlus 70. And now it's time to see how the Galaxy Note 10 Lite compares. Should you buy the Galaxy Note 10 Lite instead of the OnePlus 70? Let's find out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech. And if you do end up liking what you see in this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get this video started. Like we saw with the Galaxy S10 Lite, this is an area where Samsung's actually gone light. This here is glass tech and not glass. It still feels premium though. The glass plastic composite is supposed to fare better than plastic with regards to scratch resistance, but of course it is not quite as good as glass, which is what OnePlus have gone with on the OnePlus 7D. It's actual Gorilla Glass 5, and in hand too, the 7D has a minor edge. It's a tad slimmer and lighter, and also the frosted back is smoother. Additionally, the 70 even offers day-to-day -day water resistance. Now, the Note 10 Lite is not without its own set of pros. For starters, the Note 10 Lite has a headphone jack which the 70 lacks. That's a big pro. The bezels are also smaller. And then there's the S Pen and a higher capacity battery. So despite all this, the larger display, higher capacity battery and S Pen, the headphone jack, despite this, the overall form factor is almost similar and that's quite impressive. So S10 Lite vs 70, that was quite simple given the headphone jack and the S Pen. It's not quite as simple here. The build and design, I'll leave it to you guys. This is personal preference. The 70 is more premium. The Note 10 Lite, it has more features. It also has a higher screen to body ratio and it's not just because of the slimmer bezels, but also because of that notch. Now, both these phones, they use AMOLED panels with Full HD Plus resolutions. In terms of quality, they are quite similar. Punchy colors, vivid, infinite contrast. Now, that's thanks to the blacks being unlit. The panel on the Note 10 Lite, it's called Infinity O, and that's because of this punch hole up top that you see. Now, if you notice closely, it is smaller than the one on the Note 10 or even the S10 Lite for that matter. And that makes the notch on the OnePlus 70 look huge by comparison. The display on the Note 10 Lite is also larger, 6.7 inches compared to 6.55 on the 70. It also happens to have the brighter panel. The 70 does have one big advantage though. Like I said in the S10 Lite comparison, this is a fluid AMOLED panel and they call it fluid AMOLED because the refresh rate, it's 90 Hz. The higher refresh rate makes the 70 feel smoother and more responsive even with regular day-to-day -day tasks. So again, both have their own pros and cons. The Note 10 Lite is going to offer a more immersive experience given the higher screen to body ratio and it's going to be better for media consumption. Well, the 70 on the other hand, especially with gaming, the higher refresh rate is going to come into its own. Personally, I've always preferred higher refresh rates, but again, this one's also personal preference. Now to push these displays, you're going to need solid hardware and both brands do offer good hardware. OnePlus does have the advantage here. It sports the Snapdragon 855 Plus chip uh, compared to the Exynos 9810 on the Note 10 Lite. The Note 10 Lite's Exynos 9810 is a generation older than the 855 Plus. So if raw horsepower is what you're looking at, then the 70 definitely has the advantage. It also uses the faster UFS 3 storage compared to UFS 2.1 on the Note 10 Lite. But the 9810 is still a pretty solid chip and with day-to-day -day use, it manages to hold up quite nicely. And even with intense tasks, it manages to run pretty much anything thrown at it. You still get a great experience with the Note 10 Lite, but the snappier experience, it's definitely gonna be on the OnePlus 7T. And one of the reasons for it, it's gotta be software. We've got Oxygen OS 10 on the 7T built on top of Android 10. This is quite stockish and coupled with that 90 Hertz panel, Everything's extremely fluid, for the lack of a better term. The fast animations of Oxygen OS also help enhance this perception of speed. The 70 offers an excellent user experience. But comparing that with the Note would be kind of like an apples to oranges comparison. Since the Note 10 Lite is, it's not about the speed here. That's not to say the user experience here isn't fast, it is. The Note 10 Lite runs on One UI 2.0, which also happens to be built on Android 10. 
One UI 2.0 is Quad Streamline 2 and it's intuitive. The Note 10 Lite has some exclusive features that you aren't gonna find on the likes of the OnePlus 7T. For example, there's support for full-fledged Samsung Pay, but that's not what the Note 10 Lite's all about. It's all about the S Pen functionality, something that no other brand's been able to replicate on a smartphone. This is a truly unique experience that's reserved usually for phones priced about the 60,000 rupees segment. And generally, that's not something you'll find at this price point. So for example, with the S Pen, you can jot down notes, you can swap camera modes with it, take notes with the screen off, you can use a text export to turn handwriting into text, Smart Select helps us instantly crop any part of the screen and share it. We can even create GIFs from videos, use the S Pen to translate words or sentences. And as I said in the unboxing, my favorite, the live message feature. So there's a lot of things that the S Pen can do and there's a lot of value add that it brings to the table. So if the note taking functionality is something you like, then look no further than the Note 10 Lite because this is a totally unique experience. Moving on, when it comes to battery life, just like with the S10 Lite, the Note 10 Lite takes the cake with a higher capacity battery. It's 4500 mAh compared to 3800 mAh on the OnePlus 7T. So the Note 10 Lite should be able to last longer. And as for charging speeds, the 70 has 30 watt warp charging, while the Note 10 Lite has uh, 25 watt fast charging. Both chargers are included in the box. Now, before we jump to cameras, let's take a look at some sundries, the fingerprint sensors under the display on both optical sensors, but the one, one on the OnePlus 70 is much faster. The one on the Note 10 Lite, it leaves a lot to be desired. The speakers, the Note 10 Lite has a single downwards firing speaker, whereas the 70 has stereo speakers that sound louder and fuller. Now, the Note 10 Lite does head back with a headphone jack and Samsung also includes earphones in the box. They sound decent enough. There's a hybrid slot, so memory expansion is an option too. And with that, we now get on to cameras. Both phones come with triple camera setups to the back. And while the 70 has a 48 megapixel primary with an f1.6 lens, the Note 10 Lite has a 12 megapixel primary with a f1.7 lens. Both lenses are optically stabilized. Do note that the 70 shoots 12 megapixels by default too. Under good lighting conditions, both cameras capture decent looking images, but the Note 10 Lite, it does do better. Just look at the blue skies here. Zoom in and see the details in the shadows. The dynamic range, the detail levels, even the colors, they're all better on the Note 10 Lite. The OnePlus 70 has a tendency to shoot warmer images, while the Note 10 Lite, it captures more natural images. Under low light, both cameras have dedicated low light modes. Here the 70 shoots brighter images, the images are cleaner too. The 70 does seem to have an edge with regards to low light performance for the primary sensor. When it comes to the secondary ultra wide, 12 megapixels on the Note 10 Lite, 16 on the 70. Here the Note 10 Lite goes back to being the superior performer. Not only does it have the wider field of view so that it can capture a lot more of the scene, it also outdoes the OnePlus 70 with dynamic range as well as detail. Again, look at the details in the shadows. Both these sensors also get night mode support and here the Note 10 Lite turns the tables. It performs better, producing brighter and more detailed images. For the third camera, both phones have 12 megapixel sensors with two X optical zoom lenses. The one on the Note 10 Lite has optical image stabilization. It's way better. The images captured by it have a lot more detail. The 70, it has a lot of smoothening going on. The images are soft. The Note 10 Lite on the other hand produces crisper shots. With regards to selfies, the Note 10 Lite has a 32 megapixel sensor, 2x the resolution. Uh, it does manage to capture a bit more detail, but I feel the 70 does do better with skin tones. That said, overall for the selfie cam, I feel they're about, about on par. Even with the portraits, they're more or less similar. As far as video goes, both phones support 4K 60fps video, and at these resolutions, both footages are stabilized thanks to OIS. Detail levels are similar, but the Note 10 Lite again edges on ahead because of dynamic range advantages. Just look at the shadowy areas on screen. The 1080p 60, the stabilization algorithms on the Note 10 Lite kick in. They're pretty good. The 10 Lite does do a much better job. At 1080 30, the 70 stabilization algorithms start working. But here, Samsung counters with Super Steady, which takes the stability to a whole another level. So overall, with cameras, the Note 10 Lite seems to have the stronger optics. And now we get to pricing. The OnePlus 70 launched at 38,000 rupees, but currently retails at 35,000 rupees. The Note 10 Lite has just recently gone on sale at 39,000 rupees. Now, the 70 has gotten qu quite a bit going for it. It's got that glass build, it's got the fluid AMOLED panel, optical zoom, the snappy Oxygen OS, along with the Snapdragon 855 Plus chip, all at a cheaper price point. 
But that said, the Note 10 Lite is a solid flagship from Samsung. It's got superior optics. It's got a larger, more immersive display, micro SD expansion, a better screen to body ratio, and most importantly, that S Pen experience. Something that just cannot be matched by anything else on the market. Now, if you just want a snappy phone with excellent internals, then the 70 would be the better pick for you. It is also the cheaper option, but if you like what Samsung has to offer, and most importantly, if you want that flagship S Pen experience, then the Note 10 Lite would be the way to go. It is a pretty solid offering. So there you go, my two cents on this topic. These are the pros and cons of both of these phones. Depending on what's more important to you, you should probably go with that phone. So knowing what you know now, which of these two would you choose? The Note 10 Lite or the OnePlus 7T? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.